fine girl She's the woman in my memory She's all of the good things life could bring All that I see I like all oh, this fine girl She's a beauty even in my dream That's something I must have to tell you All but for me Would you wanna, would you wanna, would you wanna stay with me? Oh, girl, you blow my mind, you're just so natural You make me wanna be disgusting this is Robin Williams's party and this party is meant for my friend which you guys are fortunately to be please please guys um can this be my girlfriend no so definitely we don't know what she's doing in our party right so girlfriend get the step in Ruby, what's happening here excuse me thank you yeah, she's my friend. Why are you embarrassing her? She came with me. Oh my god, Cynthia, I want to have a heart attack. <clears throat> this thing is your friend? Of course she's my friend. You disappoint me. Man, no wonder both of you have the same hairstyle like mongoloids. You can get a step in if you want. The door is open. <laughs> Cynthia! Cynthia! I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Ruby, you have to be hard on them. Excuse me, have you finished sharing the cake or you want to join them? Huh? Girlfriend, please stay out of this. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Guys, have fun, all right? Just enjoy yourself. Too much. Really? You are too good. <laughs> if you know what you're doing to me, you understand what I talk about. What am I doing to you? My pretty. <laughs> Yeah. I'm too funny. I'm too funny. Yeah. Okay. When be your birthday? My birthday. My birthday is next month. Next month? Yes. Hmm. Pretty. By the time I surprise you finish, you will understand what you did do for my body soul. I don't understand that. Surprise me as well. I have a present for you. Mm -hmm. A car. Hey! Huh? Well, fine car. As in, a car? Yes. Hiya! Alahadi, you are a dolly. Which car do you want? A Mercedes? Um, I... Toyota? I want a Honda. Which, which, which Honda? Honda Bullet. Oh. Honda Bullet. Honda Bullet? Yes. <laughs> Consider it done. Alahadi, so you shot your mm. mm. That's the most wonderful thing. That is why you are my pretty. My pretty, my pretty. <laughs> There's no woman will be like you. Really? I'll do one more thing. Uh, what is that? Huh? Tell me anything you want from Alaji, I can, I can give you. Yeah. Uh, I want to celebrate my birthday in my house. So I want my house to be well furnished. I can't be coming to see you every time in the hotel. You know, if, if you stay in my house, we'll feel comfortable, we enjoy each other. You know, I love you so much. I don't like. Hmm? Just can't it come. Really? Like just can't. Really? Consider it done. I had you you're too much. Yes, where would where would you want to house? So mm. Ikoi, Victoria Island, Lakey, Pes one, Pes two, VGC, which one? I had you, I want it in um, in Lakey. Lakey? <laughs> yes. Okay. I get your house at Lakey Pes two. Huh? Really? I like you. My pretty, my pretty. You know I love you so much. You know. Are, you, are you sure? Do you know? If uh. I. If this is not good, then my eyes are deceiving me. You are finally arrived. How many? How many? You just thought, how come? You take a good look at this thing, man. What is it? Take a good look at this bride. You know, the light. Baby, just us now. Just us. How come? My dad said I've grown enough age to own a car, so he sent his car as a birthday present. What? Birthday present? Hey! <laughs> but this is lovely. What are you guys up to? Let me give you a ride. Right. You Your dad must be so generous to give you such an expensive ride. You can say that again, girl. And he must be loaded too. Listen, girls. 
It's just that I'm not a proud type. Mm -hmm. I'm not boastful. My father is a great economics and brethren, and the Nigerian government begged him to come rectify the problem in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And you know what, girls? They made him the economic minister for Nigeria. You mean your father is the president economic minister? No, 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 no. He has resigned and he's okay. now in Germany as an ambassador. Okay. And he's in charge of the embassy and consular affairs, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but I don't understand. An embassy is quite different from the consulate. When I say you're a bush girl, why not just accept it? You're a bush girl. Bush girl. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I love this. So look, listen, girls. I've got visa to London, America. I've got Schengen visa and etc. You don't know. My dad is a big girl. Hold on, hold on. Let me like your father. Yeah, you saw Hello. Hello, daddy. Hello. Yes. Are you there? I'm fine. Daddy, have you sent the stuff? Yes, yes. How is mom? Oh, okay. <laughs> love you, love you too. Bye bye, dad. <laughs> bye. You guys, I just woke up my dad. Mm -hmm. too much. Why are you guys up? Let me give you guys long. Why not? Don't mind, please. Oh, Bini, you're oh, too mind. much. Why not? <laughs> you love that you. Love is cool. Picking with this, no, come, ma. No, come, ma. come, 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 I said I will get this motto. You do medicine for uh, for, for money? Yes, Papa. I'm going to get them. Uh, yes, I did um, money lottery ritual. My picking. Which one be money ritual? I win the car for lottery, Mama. Hey! <laughs> you want it in a lottery? This big my motto. Hey! 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 Hey, come my house. Hey, look inside. Look inside. Hey, Moto. Come, come, come. Welcome, welcome. 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 I want me to go and sit on those uh, uh, bed bug infested chairs that have been there for years and centuries. I'm happy I cannot sit there. Uh, it, 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 maintaining this skin is very expensive. Uh, to go and sit in that house. Look at the curtain, so dirty. Mama will not sit there. Uh, uh, okay, no be here, me and you and your papa, they leave before you go sit here. Mama, things don't change. Time has changed. Uh, time has changed. You want me to go and sit there, or I'll uh, bring my friends to come, come and stay here. Oh, it's not man. possible now. Look at everywhere. It's so dirty, so so unkept. In short, uh, I, I, I before I came, I, I rented a place in the hotel. I booked a place where I will stay. Eh? Okay. If you people need anything, come and see me there. But for me to sleep here, it's not possible. Ah, um, when you come, we can talk things over. Let me see what I can do so that you can change all these places. Ah, I cannot man. stay here. Now you they talk like this. I can ma. Papa. I can ma. Papa. Point of correction. Chineke. My name is no longer Ekeme. Hey. Be it is Benny. Or better say, you call me Benita. Be Benita. Ekeme, what? Ah, ma, don't Ekeme. Don't come Ekeme again. Ekeme, 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 please come. Ekeme, 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 Baby, I 
I don't know if you feel the way I do. Feel about what? About being in love. I love you so much. This has never happened to me before. But that's how it should be. Don't you know that each morning you wake up, you should kneel down and say, Jesus, thank you for this great privilege. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Exactly what you heard. <laughs> you must be crazy. Of course I am. And that's why you like me. Hello, dear. Hey, when you come back. Wow. Look at this. Tickets took me to the boutique and bought this for me. Oh, yeah. Do you like them? Did he pick them or you did? He did. He has an eye for good things. That's why I yeah. love him. He has an eye for cheap things. They look like things he bought from a Swanee market. Mom! Ruby, I buy you things from Harold's. So why get me excited over those cheap fabrics? Anyway, uh, let's discuss something important. Actually, I've been wanting to tell you, I'll do anything within my capability to help you win the contest. You mean the Miss Nigeria contest? Absolutely. Well, that would be wonderful. Ah. <gasps> uh, you see, during and after your reign, mm -hmm. I want you to start associating with people that matter in society. Because my dream for you is to become the wife of a state governor. And two state governors are still bachelors. Oil magnets. I've started making contacts already. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you amaze me. Well, it sounds interesting. I have a relationship. Ruby, that is the problem. You see, if I'm willing to sacrifice so much, you've got to do something as well. See, um, these tickles or tackles, whatever you call him, he doesn't belong to our class. He is the reaping. As a matter of fact, your continual association with him will jeopardize our dream. <laughs> Mom, how can you say that? He loves me very much. Do you love him? I think so. Oh, Ruby. You have to start thinking like your mother. Aim for the very best. Hmm? See. The man I have actually penciled down for you, one of the governors, he will shower you with so much love, you will not be thinking of loving him. You will love him, unlike you're thinking that you love tackles, oh, sorry, tickles. Wake up, dear. Hmm? Just trying to dress up. I have lectures 
and I'm resting up to go for the lectures. You're looking dull. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay. It's just that I'm tired and uh, I'm dressing up to go for lectures. I'm almost late. Would you have gone to lectures this way? No, no, no. I was actually trying to dress when your call came. So I said, let me just hurry and open the door for you. Okay, let me just relax for one minute. No, 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 no. Uh, Elijah, I'm almost late. You mean I can't even relax for one minute? Don't worry, don't worry. All right, pretty, have a. We will see, we will see. Eh? Mm, you know I love you. Okay, in that case. <laughs> See me on your way back. I will, I will. Okay? I will, I will. Right. Thank you, Alahaji. Right, my pretty? Yes, you know I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What's the meaning of this? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. What's the meaning of this I'm very, very sorry. See, the guy that just left, oh, he's a very good pal of my dad. So, is that, is that why you practically bought me out of the media Please, you don't understand. I, I'm sorry. See, both of them were in government. And when my father was going down to Austria, my father asked him to be taking good care of me. If he had seen you, he would have been in a very big trouble. Don't you understand? See, look, the next thing he would do is pick the phone, call my dad, and all I do in Nigeria is keep men or flaunt around with men. I don't want him to have that impression. And if I know it, uh, he will collect this house from me, send the car back to this, and he might even take me down to Austria. But I don't want to lose you. You know I love uh, uh, you. No, no, wait, wait. Is that... Is that... Honey, please, please, honey. You know I love you. I'm so sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Please, it won't happen again. Please. I love you, boy. Please, my love. I love you, too. Hey, honey, boy. You, you know... Honey boy, I love you. You know you it. Please. Please. That's my baby boy. Honey. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm waiting for you. Sir, come out. You know? Your bank loaned me 20 million naira with interest. But I want you to defray that interest. How would you do that for you? Because my campaign team will pay in 60 million naira. Yes. Don't you know him? I don't think I do. Who is it? That's Chief Dr. Ikonia now. Who could just for governor? But failed. Then you can't be serious. Yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Baby. Which means there's a bigger boy there. Baby. What are you not thinking? Or what do you think? Will he throw us? Please do that with your Good day, Chief. Hello, young lady. Can I be of help to you? Well, not really. I'm Benita, but my friends call me Benny. Oh, I will call you Benny instead. <laughs> Please, can you see that? I guess your chief, Dr. Ikoye, the one that contested for the last governorship election. Sure, sure. Ah. Yes. <laughs> well, what happened? Everybody expected you to win the election and <laughs> at the tail end. That's politics for you. It's the game of the fastest. Yeah. But well, all the same, chief. <laughs> Don't let it weigh you down. Not at all. It's my game. And I'm used to it. But lady, you all seem to be very much interested in politics. <laughs> well, as a citizen, I think I have a legitimate right to participate or know what is happening in my government or my country's policy. So in that case, why not see me later here? Really? For us to discuss about uh, politics and other matters. That would be wonderful, Jesus. Tomorrow. It's a date. Thank you, Chief. Right. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm back again. Everything I've got ready. Okay, Chief. Okay, you'll be good. See you. See you. <laughs> yes, Chief. I need you in the bedroom. Yes. <laughs> Love you too. Mm -hmm.
Hey, my angel. How are you? Any problem? Mm, yes, no. It's just that I need someone to help me scrub my back. Oh, sure. <laughs> I do it to every. You do that for me? Oh, yes. You know what, baby? I will become the next girl. Mm -hmm. And you will become my first lady. <laughs> Come on, Chi. Stop lying. You're married. You have a wife. Oh, come on, that. My wife is not half as beautiful and intelligent as you are. Mm -hmm. See, with your beauty and intelligence, my governance will just be very easy. Really? Yes. Hello, hello, Alanji is me. I'm fine though. Alanji said I'm just coming from the bank. They said the money has not entered my account. Yeah, I know, I know. Um Hello? Hello? Oh shit. Hello? Alanji, I'll call you back. The network is bad. Bye bye, bye bye. Hello, Hanarebu. I'm fine. Thank you so much. I got the money. Yes. <laughs> I love you too. I love you. Hey, Hanarebu, please wait. Look, look, look. I'll call you back. I almost crashed my car now. Y yes, I'll call you back. Oh, lo love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh. Hello, Senator. I'm fine, I'm fine, and you? I know, I'll join you. In short, in the next 20 minutes, I'll be there. <laughs> Sineto, I love you too. Eh? Okay, I'll be there. Just give me 20 minutes, right? Oh, okay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, man, <laughs> it's not an easy one. My God, them where I need them. Beautiful girl and the world. Well.
she's doing well, although she's still sleeping. Uh, there's only you waiting for her. We'll take good care of herself. Well, thank you very much. I, uh, I would uh, love to wait to speak to her when she wakes up, if you don't mind. There's no problem, sir. I'll put it shortly. Thank you very much. How are you feeling? I'm fine. How come? Yes. I just want to thank you for helping me. At least you saved my life. You don't have to say that. After all. Don't worry. Just get well first. I have a lot of presents for you. No, no, Senator. I don't want you to do anything for me anymore. Why are you talking like this? See, ever since this relationship started, it has been from one disaster to the other. Now look at me. I almost lost my life. Yeah, but it wasn't my fault. I, I was there when you needed me. And it's the problem. All these things are happening because you're there. Because you're in my life. And your wife is responsible. My wife? Yes. That is absurd. My wife cannot degenerate to such brutality. You don't even know your wife, Senator. She actually meant to kill me. She confronted me from the beginning and warned me against all this and worse things. Though I did not want to tell you. Okay. I'll deal with her. You won't do such a thing. She did what she had to do to save her marriage, so I don't blame her. I'm sorry, Senator, but I think it should just call off this relationship. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Senator. Security. Are you okay? Darling, I said, are you okay? Yes, 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 I'm very fine. Oh my God! Darling! See this blood on your hands? Did, did you have a cut or something? What happened? Yes, 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 actually. I, I wanted to tell you. On my way back home, a driver just ran over an innocent lady right in front of me. And the driver did not even stop. Oh! How cruel can people be? So where is she now? Is she okay? Where is she? Oh, she, she, she's, uh, she's in the hospital. Recovering. Oh, darling, I'm so proud of you. Oh, it was very kind of you to have taken her to the hospital. You must be very tired now. Well, I've been running your bath, and the water's very hot now. So you come and take a hot shower, and I will scrub your back. And then, I prepared your favorite. Fish pepper soup with Irish potato. So come along now, so you can have your bath and eat, okay? Come on. Ah, uh, sorry. I, um, I'd like to tell you that I think it's wise and right that I go to the hospital and see the lady. So which hospital is she in? 
It is not necessary because uh, uh, tomorrow morning she will be discharged. Oh, you know where she lives then? No. I just helped her. Don't even know her name. Oh, very well then. So come upstairs and uh, take a shower and eat, okay? Okay, my dear. Right. Just have your shower. I'm right behind you. Go on. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Friends, you know that you are the first girl I'm falling in love with. Really? Sincerely from my heart, yeah. And I love you too. Love you, I know what? You are the most wonderful thing that has happened. What's the problem? It won't happen again. I'm so sorry, please. So, what happened? Benny, you, you, you made me look like a fool out there. Why? Honestly, look, I never meant to hurt you. It's just that I saw that my uncle I told you is missing her for information. I, I'm sorry, please. Your uncle is the minister for information. Fine. So tell me, Benny, if you had seen both of us together, what would happen? Honey, don't even think of that. Eh? Look, I'll have been in a very hot soup now. Benny, listen. Honey, I love you, please. I don't see kind of relationship. I'm just too big for that. I'm too big for it. You know what? Let's call it quits. Honey, please. It's over. That's not got into it's that. Over. Honey, it's please. Over. Honey, I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry, please. Honey, please. I'm sorry. I, I, I love you. It won't happen again. Please. Hmm? I'm sorry. Honey, please, please. I promise you it won't happen. <laughs> Not together. Honey, you know you almost scared me this afternoon. How? When you said the relationship was over, man, I oh. felt as if my whole world was going to crumble. Oh, Dad, um, I'm sorry, you know. I felt bad anyway. You know I'm a jealous lover. I can't afford to lose you to anybody else. You know I me love too. you, baby. I love you. You see, I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> so, what's up with the program, man? Take you out, tell you I love you. Hello. Hi, Daddy. I'm fine. I'm at home, yes. <laughs> me too, me too. Yes, Daddy. Yeah, okay. Bye. Love you, love you. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. 
That was my dad that just called. From Europe, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, baby. Yes. This house. Does that pay for it or he owns it? Honey boy. You asked too many questions. Because I love you. Huh? Well, well, my father built this house when he was in government. Does that answer your questions? Sure, girl. <laughs> oh, beautiful place, beautiful place. Thank you. Honey, I'm coming. Let me get something for you. Okay. Baby. Why? Please. Okay, my eyes are closed. I'm waiting. Hello. Hi. Open it. That for you. And this for you too. You like them? Baby. Yeah. I love you too. You remember that my uncle I told you stays in US? Yeah. He said I should give them to you. Do you have his number? Let me call him. No, 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 no honey. I'll do it on your behalf, okay? I will call him and tell him you said it. Big thank you to him. Why? Let me, let me do it. No, you know the kind of family, how my family members behave. They'll think you've not seen stuff like this before. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you say so, baby, give me a hug. I love, I love it. <laughs> honey boy. You know you're my honey boy. Oh, you're my darling for life. You know. I have a message for you. Is that why she hit my chest like yeah, that? I don't have to talk to my boss like that. What the hell? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, come back. Stay away from Robbie. If you want to stay alive, she's mine. Ah. Guys, let's go. Hey! What's the matter? Ah. Ah. Oh, guy, why is he good at? What's the problem? Come back here! Come back here! Hi, babe, how are you doing? I'm fine. You don't seem happy to see me. You can't just be happy all the time. Yeah. 
Why would you be taking my calls? See, I have been so busy to receive your calls or anybody's, okay? <laughs> Ruby, what's this? Why do one question, one answer thing? What's going on anyway? I was attacked by some thugs who said I should stay away from you. What's happening? Are you seeing someone else? Listen, I am not in the mood to discuss any rubbish with you. If you don't have anything to say to me, you can as well leave. What's going on, Ruby? I come to your house to show you my black eye which you did not notice? And my swollen mouth? And all you can tell me is leave your house? Well, I am sorry about your swollen mouth and the black eye or whatever, okay? But I pray you do, you don't have anything to say to me. That's why I asked you to leave. Wait a minute, who do you think you are anyway? Huh? I didn't need this. I didn't need this relationship any more than you do. Oh, really? Then we can as well call it quit. Fine! Because I am tired of this whole thing. Well, I'm tired too. But whatever. You can be, whatever. Ruby, I'm sorry, okay? I'm walked up. I was just kidding, okay? I wasn't kidding. I want you to leave my house now. Ruby? What seems to be the problem, young man? Good evening, ma'am. Well, I got attacked by some thugs. How awful. You should get them arrested. Well, they ran away. But the funny thing there is, they, they mentioned Ruby's name. Wait, 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 a, wait a minute. Are you implying that my daughter, Ruby Williams, has something to do with your being battered? Uh, no, ma'am. So, but... what are you trying to say? Now, listen. Tickles or tackles or whatever you call your name. In case you don't know, you are no longer welcomed in this house. And I demand that you stop seeing my daughter. She has a lot to achieve and you are certainly not a part of it. Now, leave my house before I lose my temper. But ma'am, I, I... I said leave my house. You're watching me, right? You're looking at me. Cobra! Perfect or spiritualist thing of a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. You see, my parents are in Europe and they don't believe in such fetish things. Don't you want to be the next queen? Your parents are not here. You have to sacrifice. Besides, you ran in beauty quickly before she won. Are you sure? Very sure. <laughs> Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. You, I know your problem. I know your problem. Me kuna sit down, my daughter. I know your problem. You won't become the next beauty queen, no be so. Yes, ma'am. Get up. Turn around. Glory, they shine all over your body. I see glory where they shine for all over your body. The last beauty queen. Now here he come. So be so. They tell you. They tell me. Hey. Ooh, good. You go bring fifty thousand naira. Make we take buy the materials. We will take do the work. Then when you buy the materials finish, we go come do the work. Then you go come the inner chambers naked. Make a few do the remaining work for your body. As in, I, 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 I'll be naked in your inner chambers? So? No, no, I, I can't do that. I, I can't, Baba. can't. See, when you come the inner chambers naked, when I want to do this body, I will enter you, come deliver inside you. When I deliver you, finish inside. I will come give you your anointing. When I give you that anointing, 
you go they shine like star. You go they shine like star. Now then they call psycho spiritual journey. Okay. Psycho spiritual. I, 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 I don't understand as in Baba, you will enter me. Yes, I will give you the anointing inside when I deliver you. You go clear all those bad luck with your way. Everything where your body will come clear will be bad luck. You will come to shine like star. They shine before they even do you don't win. Now you will be number one. Baba, I'm no longer interested. What kind of rubbish is this? Eh? Then you enter me for me. You are like a cheap girl. See, if you want a girl like me, then go and take it from me. There are so many cheap girls out there you can take, but I'm not a baby like you. Oh, who would agree to hear you? Say it's going to enter me. No spiritual, self spiritual enter. Where are you? Hold it. I don't need it. Is that right? Look, come, I come, 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 make I don't want it, uh, I don't want it. You better I people will find past you. Don't come here. Then do the work for them. Help me tell them. I just want to give them better anointing. Make it a shine like star. Tell them. I will talk to them. Tell them. Hey, fall on them. Anointing. Anointing, fall on Yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was just uh, passing by, so I to come and see you people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. How about your papa and your mama? They are fine, ma. They are all fine. I hope say you bring something to come for, for them. First day now. Because nothing there for village again. <laughs> Government don't pack everything, go city. Mama, this is for you and uncle. Thank you, my Peking. Thank you. Papa and mama, see the thing we have to bring for us from uh, Lagos. <laughs> Sorry. This one uncle is uh, lying down. Uh, he's not feeling fine. You know well at all at all. He's sick. Well, well. Uncle, sorry. <coughs> sorry. No. I hope say so you didn't hear from Ekema, my Pikisu. Ekema. Eh? Ekema is now a big girl in Lagos. Hey! She, take it. She take drives it. Porsche car. Mm -hmm. She lives in a fine house. And every weekend she hosts party with all her friends. Take Mama, it. you need to see Ekema, your daughter. <coughs> It came on my begin they they are shame. Say because we they poor. That's why you know they ask of us. And wait till we know better to ask about them. Mama, 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 wait. You now need her help. You have to go and look for Kemma. You have to come to Lagos and see her. See, one of her friends gave me her address. I have to write it down for you, sir. So that you just come to Lagos and look for her. Me, I no go come home. No, you have to come now. Me, I no go come because you know they ask of us. But what I won't be saying if you go back to Lagos. Make you help me talk sense. Put my head. Help me talk to them. I will, Mama. Thank you. If I go back to Lagos, hey. I will talk sense into her head and she will come back. Okay. Then make sure you try to come and listen to me. Thank you. Thank you, eh? Thank you. Make you greet everybody for okay. me. Uncle Ndo. Uncle Ndo. No, you're sorry, eh? Sorry. I will take my leave. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, just take care of Uncle. Okay. For me. Greet everybody for me. Okay? I will do that. Bye. Papa, <laughs> you hear what you hear what your brother talks. <laughs> Say you're picking the leave for big car. And we day here with the sofa. Don't even see money to buy you the, the mercy where that Tosem can buy for you. Okay. Now can I take this bread inside first. And then come. Well, as I was saying, Lolo. I still think that Ruby should quit this beauty thing and concentrate on her studies. She's not making a career out of it. But, but Daddy, it's not affecting my studies. Even if I'm not going to make a career out of it, I want the fame. But you have enough fame. You are a queen of some sort besides. Your father is a very, very famous senator. If 
if you want your name to appear in the papers 24-7, I could do that. And besides, every woman needs a certain level of invincibility to keep her dignity. Edmund, because I told you I need money to take care of expenses, that's why you're discouraging her. Have you taken a good look at our daughter recently? You will see that she's a prophet for the top. Well, since you have declined from taking part in our dream, you will not partake in the glory when she becomes queen. And she will be. Have you... Have you spoken to Tickles about it? She doesn't need his consent. <laughs> My daughter is not going to participate in any beauty pageant. I have other things to think about. That's my own different. I'm tired of having bangs. Yes. You have other things bothering you. Like sleeping with other women. When it comes to those lay about, you will not hesitate. But your own child. It's an incumbrance. Lola, how dare you talk to me like that? I will talk to you anyhow I like. And let me tell you, whether you like it or not, my daughter will be in that pageant and she will become the new Miss Nigeria. What is it? Say anything you want to do for you. Uh, I want to contest in the forthcoming Miss Nigeria Beauty pageant. Uh, uh, that is interesting. I like the idea. But I'm pretty to be Miss Nigeria. Alhamdulillah. But before you become Miss Nigeria, you have to, to, to be your Miss State. You have to win the state level. As in you have to contest and win as your Miss State. Uh, uh, go and win your state. Then go ahead and win Nigeria. As far as I'm concerned. Whatever it will take, and you will get there. You see, I'm not as if they give it to the most beautiful girl. How, how do they do it? It only goes to those that can settle very well. Mm? If you know how to settle well, then you can win. But if you don't, the judges will want to sleep with you. I mean, I don't want to sleep with anybody. It's only you I want to sleep with. Judge, why is she shaking? What is the judge? Judge so we need pretty. You get Alahaji. Alahaji get money. You have one. You have one. I'm gonna give you ten million. Ten million naira. Ten million. But light alive. Oh my god. Alahaji, you are my inspiration. Why do I like you like this? It is from God. You know what? That's my pretty. That's Miss Nigeria for you. Hey. Miss Nigeria. Hi, my pretty lady. Hi, my pretty lady. Listen, I am not in the mood to discuss any rubbish with you. If you don't have anything to say to me, you can as well leave. What's going on, Ruby? I come to your house to show you my black eye, which you did not notice, and my swollen mouth. And all you can tell me is leave your house. Well, I am sorry about your swollen mouth and the black eye or whatever, okay? But I pray you do. You don't have anything to say to me. That's why I asked you to leave. Wait a minute. Who do you think you are anyway? Huh? I need this. 
I don't need this relationship any more than you do. Oh, really? Then we can as well call it quit. Fine! Because I am tired of this whole thing. Well, I'm tired too! Whatever! You can be, whatever. Ruby, Ruby, hey, baby. I'm sorry, okay? I'm woke up. I was just kidding, okay? I wasn't kidding. I want you to leave my house now. Now listen, tickles or tackles or whatever you call your name. In case you don't know, you are no longer welcomed in this house. And I demand that you stop seeing my daughter. She has a lot to achieve and you are certainly not a part of it. Now leave my house before I lose my time. I said, let's go, I'm true. Dad, don't tell me you're still thinking of this movie of a girl. Come on, she's in league with her mother. Don't even say that, Mark. Don't even say that. In spite of what has happened, I know she still loves me. Well, maybe. But I'm trying to tell you that her mother's ambition is for her to marry a governor or an oil magnate. Have you ever thought about why she was not sympathetic during the incident? Now, Mark, watch what you're saying. Are you telling me Ruby sent those thugs after me? No. But her mother did. How'd you know that? Well, my mother told me. Your mother told you? Yes. So I should not believe it because your mother told you? Please. Come on. Let me just tell you one thing. My mother cannot be telling me fallacies. Hey, now, isn't that Tickles and Mark? Hello, baby girl. Hey. How you doing, baby? I'm okay. Hi, Chini. Oh. Hey. You're looking good. Wow, thank you very much. Um, this is my friend, Grace. Hi, Grace. Grace, Tickles and Mark. Hmm. Um, you're serving, right? Yeah. Hmm, that's cool. And what about your fiance? Ruby. Come to think of it, the last time I saw you, you just won the Miss Campus crown, huh? <laughs> queen, how does it feel like to be a reigning queen? Well, it was okay. I really enjoyed it though. Come on, baby girl. Have you ever thought of going into Miss Nigerian Beauty pageant? Come on, check out the statistics. <laughs> Mark, stop flattering me. Oh, come on, I'm not flattering you. You won't get you anywhere. Besides, you know what I'm studying here. I mean, it's very hectic and I don't have that kind of time. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Say what? Why don't you and I have lunch tomorrow? Say 2 o'clock? We have a lot to catch up on, you know? Okay. All right. So, see you by 2. Mark. All right. Thank you. Hey, where are you girls going to? You know, just somewhere nice to. Hey, the restaurant over there. Like yeah. Cool. Cool. Shall we? She wants to be the new Miss Nigeria. She's tall, pale, and intelligent. What stops you from using your influence as a senator to ascertain that position? Woman, watch your mouth. Hmm. Our daughter knows what she wants. 
Now it's her father that wants to frustrate her dreams. I have never seen this happen before. I don't want it. Let her get to school. Women. What do you say? I don't know. I don't know. Billy, I'm so confused. Oh, come on. Finding it very hard to make up my mind. But I learned your fiance Ruby's contesting. You should be backing her. Yeah, 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 that's true. Her mom is doing that. You know, besides having my hands full, my father won't hear of it. He thinks it's a hobby for irresponsible people. He does? Yeah. Then maybe I could go talk to him about it. No, no. There's really no trouble. I could no, convince no. Believe me, he's the last person you would want to encounter. Something tells me things are not okay between you and Ruby. Honestly, it's not something I would like to talk about right now. Well, you can't talk to me. I mean, I could be of help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe me, it's beyond you. Don't worry. Things will sort itself out. Let's talk about why we're here. I... Chini, I know you can win. You can win. Like Mark said, you've got the statistics. Come on. Let's give them girls a run for their money. Okay? Just give me the chance to prove it. So what do you say? Yes, honorable. I'm fine. Thank you so much. Thanks for talking on my behalf so that they will make me the winner of the pageant. I'm so grateful, honorable. Yes, you're a darling. Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, don't worry, we'll see, we'll see. Yes. You know I love you. I love you too. I love you too. Okay, dear. <laughs> bye bye. Love you, love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Irrespective of all the promises, I've got to help myself. By using all what I have to get what I want. What I have is enough to fetch me whatever my heart desires. I must win this pageant. Yes, I must be the reigning queen. No matter what it will cost me, I'll win. I'll be the next queen. Oh God. <laughs> Benny girl. Hmm. <laughs> just just put it. Just put it. So baby, you got yourself a
idiot who is trying to feel important. I guess one of my fans. <laughs> I'm sorry, give me, give me uh, I want more scotch now. Lady and gentlemen of the press, a toast to the next beauty queen of Nigeria. Gentlemen and lady of the press, like you all know, we are here to celebrate an exceptional lady who has always excelled in everything she lays her hand. She has been Miss Dulux, former Miss Orient. Now she's gone in for the big one. A lady with a sterling quality deserves the crown, and you all would agree with me. She has been there and will continue to be there. Coupled with the fact that are rich. When I say rich, I mean very rich and influential parents based abroad have been giving her all the support she needs. Gentlemen and ladies of the press, in order not to waste your time, it's my honor to introduce to you the next queen, the person of the adorable, delectable Miss Benita Agu. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the press. I feel honored. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's, it, it's just as if uh, I've won the queenship. <laughs> my, my management have decided to put together this press briefing to solicit your support during the finals of the competition. And I assure you, it's a promise, that before you leave this venue, we've got goody goodies packed up for you. Comprising of um, quarters, <laughs> statistics, and of course money, thank you. <laughs> and of course money. Once more, I'd like to say thank you very much for honoring inflation. I feel delighted. Thank you. Uh, hey, my son. The time is that here, my daughter, I came my leave. And then nobody the answer came I am. Came on the leave him. Thank you very much. Yeah. We appreciate everything. And we pray that God Almighty will see it through. Amen. We are going to be the next Miss World. My colleagues and I have questions for you, starting with me. Um you say that you your parents live in abroad. Where is that? Thank you. Well, um <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. My my parents are in abroad, yes. My father is in Germany and he's currently the the, the Nigerian ambassador to Germany. My mom, brothers and sisters are in Austria. Now this address my brother Nam they give me from village. Um, now here my daughter they live. I'm the only one here studying at the same time pursuing my career as a model. Hey. Yes. Thanks. Then what are your plans if you become the next queen? Well, if I become an <laughs> Let me like you before you tell me say no get it here. Let 
Brother Namdi, now he give me your address for village. If nobody says something happened to your papa, I for no come. And the village people then won't see you. Quick, quick. Who is this bushman you brought into my living room when you know I'm having a press conference? I know, I tried to stop her and she told me she she My mother? Are you out of your mind? Come and take this thing out of my house. What did they happen now? You won't deny me. Come and get out. Oh. Because I will Eh? Now this my belly now I take carry you want you. you take now this my press now I tell you do it. Get out, get out, take her out. Get this thing out of here immediately. What's all this? Listen, listen, listen. Take her to the police station, detain her, and they must not release her until I say so. Okay? Get out. I think I'm gonna give you your mama. Sound funny. How does she me to be your mother? My mother? Please don't even say that. My parents are not even in country. No, no, she cannot. That thing, a mother. No. Uh, uh, gentlemen, uh, lady of the press, as you can see, the, the queen is emotionally disturbed. Um, we'll get to you people later, please. But right now, we have to leave. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the press. We are very sorry uh, for what happened here, okay? And um, let me get you your envelopes and uh, make sure what happened here does not appear in your papers, okay? Please, excuse me. The state level of the Miss Nigeria Beauty Contest has just been concluded. The following contestants emerged successful in the various states, qualifying them for the next stage, which is the zone level. Kiki for Miss Abuja, Jenny for Miss Lagos, Benita for Miss Imo, Tonya for Miss Kobe, Jet for Miss Edo, Ruby for Miss Rivers, the others are Cheney for Miss Delta, Hong for Miss Oyo, Nancy for Miss Flower. Somebody has got some explanation to do yet. Christopher! Christopher! So. This is. This is. Take this away now. Let's go. Celebration. Yes, yes sir. Uh, Ma'am. Babies. Hey, you needed to have seen the bitches I contested with. Are they working? Mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. What are you not talking about? As when you see somebody calls, you know. Calls. Mm -hmm. As if these girls are beautiful. You don't they are say pretty. It. They are epitome of beauties. They are paragon of beauties. But this little end girl, I won. That's the most important thing. You know, God has already emerged you to be the winner. Yeah. Man, you can say that again. Hey, baby. You see, as I've been beautiful, this leg, I always am back. Trust you. I trust you. Yeah. I trust you. Yeah. From now on, I'm no longer burning but Miss Emo States. Give me time. Man, it wasn't easy. So, I missed all those. I trust you. I can't believe it! My baby, the most beautiful girl in the whole of Emo State. You can say it again. I can't believe it. I can work it for you. No, do it for me, baby. I'm saying, I can't believe it. My baby, the most beautiful girl so in the whole of Emo State. I'm so proud of you. Hi, girls. Hi. You know what? What? I'm so happy. <laughs> well, that's from now on, what? We'll be walking like a queen. Yeah, that you are. <laughs> and you are Miss Emo mm. State. And guess what, guess what, girl? You know what? You are the next yes. queen 
of Nigeria. Say that again. Yeah, and that will make me the king of Nigeria. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm, I'm so proud, proud of you too. Baby, you know what? What? My reign as a queen is going to be. Mm. Well, her majesty will reign forever <laughs> and ever and ever. <laughs> Daddy, your daughter is a, a proud Miss Rivers. I won the competition. I'm now Miss Rivers. Yes, you are. I heard it over the news. I am indeed very, very impressed. Honey, you now support us. Wholeheartedly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I thank you so much. Thank you. And you know what? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Uh, Christopher! Where is it? The car? <laughs> it's not in the car. Christopher! So, where is it? Where is it? You'll be very, very shocked. Just wait and see. Not too much for my pretty girl. If wishes were houses, I will buy you a private jet. Mommy, look hot! Took a ride, took a ride. Good, mommy! <laughs> I can explain. It's not what you think. I can explain. What is this thing doing in here? Alaji, it's not what you think. I can Benita, explain. Benita, I'm asking you. Oh Alaji, I can explain, please. I can explain. Benita. Alaji. You will see. Alaji. Please. Shake here. No, Alaji, it's not what you think. I can explain. I, I will explain to you, Alaji. Jesus Christ. Can you just imagine that honey boy? Eh? He just bite into my in my house and started saying all sorts of rubbish. Just because my father asked him to be taking good care of me, then he feels he can just budge into my house and say all sorts of rubbish. Eh? For a mere caretaker now, he wants to become a landlord. He's your father's friend. Can you just imagine? Imagine the guy, he could mean a thing. Oh, Jesus mm. Christ. Honey boy, I'm sorry, okay? My love, I'm sorry. No, baby, I need to see. Let, let me no, tell no, 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 no,
He is my father's fault. I blame my father. I'm not going to you. clean up my back to be protecting you. You don't talk to me face like that. No, please, no. Please, I need please, to talk to you. Please, please, please. Eh? I, I, I will call my father and talk to my father. It's my father's fault. Please, my new boy. That's the more reason why I should protect please, you. Please, I know, I know your fault. Come on. Mm. Don't mind him. Oh, baby boy. Oh, shit. Actually, I said for you because I wanted to have a word with you. So, how's your daughter, Senator? I hope she's full of smiles and happiness now. Oh, she's all smiles and she's very, very happy. And she's just optimistic of the forthcoming one. Just as I said, she has no problem whatsoever. Then, you a million naira richer. Ah, it's a deal. And it comes very handy. You see, um, we still hanging because the landlord of our building wants to renovate it. And so? So we're trying to organize another accommodation to enable us settle down so that we can organize this contest. If that is so, you know, I have a lot of duplexes in Abuja here. I think I can make one available to you. Uh, after this meeting, and you can follow me, we'll go and look at it. I think you will definitely like it. That will be too much, Senator. We are really grateful for that. Ah. You know what, Mr. Pigeon? Nothing, nothing is too much for my lovely daughter. Ah, Senator, today is a happy day, and we are very grateful. Yes, and uh, that reminds me. Send somebody to have the key, and don't forget, every other term stands. Of course, Senator. And please tell your daughter, Ruby, the date is the 20th of September. Then, I'm very happy to have this meeting. All right, sir. <laughs> Don't forget my <laughs> the organizers of the beauty project asked us to meet here and I'm here. W what are you doing here? No, models? Yes. I didn't see any models down there. Yeah, which means they would have gone. Uh, well, anyway, I came for a business meeting with my friends. Yeah, they're down there. So, uh, have you seen them or something? Um, no, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I'm done. Are you? So, can we leave? Oh, sure, sure. Let's go. So, how is the vibe? I'm very sorry to have kept you waiting for so long. You see, I had a meeting that took almost the whole time. Can we go now? Sorry? What, what are you talking about? Who am I? Yes, who are you? Anita. And who is this little boy hanging around you? Excuse me. Point of correction. I will not have you call my fiance a little boy. Okay? What the hell is wrong with you, man? Once you see a beautiful, pretty chick, you begin to cross around her as if you've never seen a beautiful girl. This is this. I will not take you call my fiance a little boy, okay? You know what's wrong with you people? You just barge into people and you think you can say anything to them? It's Benita. because I'm a public figure and you know my name? So what? Oh, please. Benita! That's my name. Oh, honey boy, please let's go. This little girl. What's wrong with some of these men? Hey, what? Wait, wait. Is one of the organizers? I, I guess so. But 
Let us not give them the right to, to, to be taken advantage of innocent ones like us. It's too bad. It's bad. probably thinks you're a cheap girl. He doesn't know you're responsible. Don't mind that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why my own come difficult like this? Why my own come bad? Shabi, you can't see a person from picking. Hey, you go expect blessing for all age, my own no day like that. Now who I offend? Now who God? Now who I offend? And this Mary, I want to move on, Gabaso. Mary, I want to move on, Gabaso. My picking lock me put inside police station inside cell. Oh, help! Help! Where you go no more? Help! You must do something, okay? I must win this beauty pageant. I must be crowned. Yeah. Why not? Because I did. Are you sure? Positive, baby. The more reason why I must win. And you know what that means? You must convince your churches and MDs. You must be the next queen. Of course, why not? As long as I remain the chief organizer, the churches and my MD are all at my peck and calling. Whatever I tell them is what they are going to do. Really? Yes. And when I become the queen, Practically going to be enjoying this every day. I know what it means. I'll turn your whole world around. Are you kidding me, baby? I'll give it to you. Wow. With this, your luscious body, I show you I'll do anything. You are already the queen. Is that right? Okay, that will be fine. That will be fine. Okay then. I'll be expecting your calls. Okay, yeah. Bye bye. Um, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You you sent for me, sir. Yes, I did. Um, you see, I'll go straight to the point. I must compliment you, Jenny. You are so beautiful and brainy. Thank you very much, sir. Um, but you see, the competition is not all about beauty and brains. I tell you, there's more to read than that. That is why many parents today are really investing in their daughters. And some of the girls are becoming so generous. They are sleeping around with all those who matter on the board. They are doing this just to guarantee their winning the crown. Obviously, you don't have anything. Because since you arrived to this camp, not a single influential person has come to see me on your behalf. I... I don't have any godfather, sir. You don't have a godfather? Good. Um... Chi. I am prepared to be your godfather. That would be very kind of you, sir. But it's a problem here. Um, we work as a team. I work in concert with two other gentlemen. Yeah, to guarantee your crown, you really have to do one or two things with them. Because your pretty face and your magnificent statistic is not going to help out. You really have to play along with them. And this is what I'm going to ask you to do. It's not me, it's them. I think with this your beautiful body and all that, you have to sleep with them. Excuse me, sir, but I'm not like other girls. I might not have money or godfathers, 
but I have morals and dignity that I'll do anything to protect. And if I can't win that competition on merit, then I don't need it. Why? How dare you stand up to me? Who the hell do you think you are? Look, nobody dares me, and I mean nobody. Now, get out of my office. Get out! You bitch! I am trying to hang you the queen on a silver platter, and here you stand, playing the sanctimonious Virgin Mary. You better consider yourself out of the competition, because you are not going beyond the first round. That I guarantee. What happened? What did you say happened over the phone? <laughs> exactly what I said. He wants to sleep with me. What? He said it's either I sleep with him or I feel. Shit. Shit. <laughs> the whole thing is useless. I'm going home. I can't mortgage my dignity for anything. No, no, Chini. You can't. Listen, as much as I won't subscribe to you sleeping with him, you can't just chicken out of the contest like that. You must have faith. You have to. I've seen many girls go through this without bribing or, or even sleeping with anyone. Listen, you can't quit on me now. You can do it, okay? You don't need anybody. Alright? Don't worry. Just just brace yourself up. You can do it. Okay? Go back. Take care. Madam, you're still here. <laughs> Sir! Sir! What is this woman still doing here? Sir, I don't know. Even the complainant has not even show up. <laughs> so, girl, what do we do with her? Show up tomorrow? Look, if she does not show up tomorrow, you go and look for her. And if she fails to turn up, Go ahead and release her. Did you hear me? Yes, sir! Oh, God, thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. Oh, sweet girl. Beautiful girl and the world. Well. Sidewalk elegantly. I 
Cosmetology. You don't, Listen. Understand. you don't understand. This is what I use on my skin. Can't you see? Can't you see how fresh it is? Hey. <laughs> Listen, in short, you just use it and see. This. It's because you guys go and spend all kinds of money buying stupid creams. This is what I use and see. Look at my color. Look at my tummy. Everything is so fresh. Tick, tick. That's now and see. See. Use it and see. Take it and stop doing like a mugu. Huh. This is disgusting. Disgusting. You, you, you really rub this on your body. Mm. What's going on here? Hmm. Why are you even yeah. able to scream the whole place down? Babe, imagine this guy using juju. Ah, ah. In short, we are no longer free in this. In short, the cat has just said this. Ah. It's not true, it's for her. I mean, she gave it to me. I cannot believe this. What is this? Let's talk about this now. You mean about this? I mean, damn! I bound you. I bound you. She gave it to me. She gave it to me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, in short, I'm not. She brought you to the camp for her. Yeah! It's all in the same way. Give me a shot and believe me, please. You're still waiting for that. You can't want to go to the camp for that. It's all in the same way. Hey, let's take her to the camp for that. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
But let me tell you something. After this competition, I am going to deal with you severely. What? Could you be so cheap, Chini? Hey, 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 What's the matter? Has Ruby been asking? No, she hasn't. But you have. So, bringing me into this competition was all in your quest for Vandeta? God, how could you? How do you mean? Don't even give me that. Ruby dumped you according to her. And you wanted to get even with her. That is why you brought me into this place. God, why didn't you tell me all this while? All that was inconsequential. Inconsequential. Well, it is now because he has completely disreputed me. I am now a laughing stock among all the girls here. Henceforth, I don't want to see you anywhere around me again. Let me bear this humiliation all alone. And don't even try stopping me because. I am leaving. Uh, uh, Chini, Chini, Ch Chini, please, just, just, just listen to me, okay? Please. Yes, you're right. At first, it was all about Vendetta. But later on, I found out that if anyone was worthy to win this crown, it had to be you. You've got everything it needs. Besides, you're not into bribery or sleeping around like the other ones. You're different. And what's more, I'm in love with you. I'm... I'm really sorry. I... I... I never thought of it that way. But now I know I'll stay and prove that point, okay? And I love you too. What is this supposed to mean? You guys must be joking. Nusa! No, my friend. Benita, it, that, that is Kenny. I rented this house for her. I have taken by my property. I don't know where she is now. Can you go? Yeah, Alaji, we are equally looking for her because her presence is needed at the station. That is your business, man. What's my what what what's my business with that? <laughs> yes, mister. Good evening, sir. Yes. Can I help you? Sorry, sir. I'm looking for Benita. What is Benita? Ita more I should no longer here. Let me warn you, my friend. Nobody should come here to look for Benita anymore. Can you go? I'm sorry, sir. Can you go? If you come here again, that can you work a Sorry, officer. Officer, what's going on? I thought uh, this is uh, where Benita live. Ah, well, she's equally needed at the station too. But the Yeye girl, the Alaji rented a, a place for her, and now the Alaji has uh, thrown her out. For what? There's a woman that is being arrested now at the um, station, you know, and she claims she's uh, Benita's uh, mother. A woman? Yes. Where is she from? Say she's from the village. From the village? Yes. From the village. And Benita said the woman is an imposter. You know, I said her real mother is from Canada. Eh? Emma's parents from Canada. Yes. Please, officer, you have to take me to the woman. That's Benita's mother. Please, let's go. Please. You're not attired. Without wasting time, we call on our first contestant of the day, Miss Abia. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Helen Kalum, and I'm representing Abia State, God's own state. You're welcome. Ndibani Kao. God's own state, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Abia just left the state. Ladies and gentlemen, the second beautiful contestant is Miss Abuja. 
Just look at the way she walks on the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Helen Reluke, representing FCT Abuja, Center of Unity. Nkwa. A round of applause for Miss Abuja. Unity indeed, what we need in Nigeria at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, Akwa Ibom. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause. With a traditional self to pop it up. This is mostly beautiful. Good evening, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stella Obong Ufong Obong. I'm representing Akwaibo State, the land of my birth, the promised land. A land that has been beautified by God with so many mineral resources. Akwaibo means Sanga. Akwaibo means Sanga. It's Sanga. Thank you, Mr. Kwaibom. I'm most flattered for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number four, Miss Anambra. As we all can see, she is wonderfully dressed, Miss Anambra. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Awilika. Anene from Anambra State, home for all. Ekene Munao. Ekene Munao. Thank you very much, Miss Anambra. We've seen enough of you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Miss Delta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Miss Delta. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miss Chineye Ikenanya, and I'm representing Delta State, the Big Heart, and a state recognized as the backbone of Nigeria's economy. Wado! Well done, no! That is Miss Delta. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Miss Ebony State. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ellen Ego. I'm representing Ebo in State, the south of the nation. Ibo Kwenu. Ibo Kwenu. Kwenu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up to a Miss Enugu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mary Nnamani. I represent Enugu State, the cold city, the land of my birth. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Enugu. A round of applause to contestant number nine, Miss Imo. Wow, with a wonderful smile, I must say. A beautiful dancing step to couple it up, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Imo. Good day. I'm uh, Miss Benita Agho representing Imo State, the land of hope, and I hope to win the beauty pageant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Imo. 
You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 10, Miss Kano. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause again. Wonderful, with the beautiful stars from the northern. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Miss Kano. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ibrahim Amina. I'm representing Kano State, land of commerce and industry. Sanu, Sanu, Sanu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Kano. Contestant number 11, Miss Lagos. Miss Lagos stepping up. You got beautiful attire. I must confess, this is beautiful. You're welcome, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jenny Adeshino Ademola. I'm representing Lagos State, Center of Excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Thank you, Miss. Are your Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abosse de Olaifa. I'm representing Oyo State, the pay setter for the nation, Eku Kaleo. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Miss Rivers. So beautiful. With an attitude, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to Miss Rivers once again. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruby Williams. I'm representing River State, the treasure base of the nation. Yaminapo Arasimo. Miss Benway. Thank you very much, Miss Benway. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victoria Uchin. I'm representing Benue State, the full basket of the nation. Benue, Isu, 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 Neche! Wonderful job, ladies and gentlemen. All the contestants now, together. A round of applause, please. I must confess, the dazzling beauty. Wonderfully best artist. Miss Cross River. Oh, 
themselves to like to put in the gas that will make the human being a good housewife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the first person of God. Ladies and gentlemen, she likes singing, she likes singing and dancing. The temper permits her, she would be a, a good designer. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome Miss Delta. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the seventh. On, on, on number seven is Miss Evoy. Miss Evoy says she likes dancing, swimming. Definitely, she has a good body to take care of that. I must Miss Evoy is there. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Enugu. Miss Enugu. So she loves reading. And she likes writing poems. Definitely, she must be a good writer. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Miss Enugu. Contestant number nine, Miss Emo. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emo says she likes sightseeing. She likes traveling all over the world. Definitely, she would definitely go places. I must confess. Once again, this is Miss Emo. Contestant number ten, Miss Cano. Miss Cano seems to be more enlightened. She is the educate, educated child. She seems to go to the more. She likes reading and writing. Ladies and gentlemen, state now is Miss Cano. One more time. 11. Contestant number 11 is Miss Lagos. And she likes cooking. Definitely, she would be a good housewife. <laughs> Contestant number 12 is Miss Oyo. Miss <laughs> Oyo likes ball. And she likes playing long tennis. Definitely, Miss Oyo is the perfect answer, I must confess. Thank you so much, Miss Oyo. Contestant number 13, Miss Penway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Penway appears to be the out in time. Once again, welcome Miss Penway. <laughs> the last but not on the list is Miss Rivers. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Miss Rivers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now into our final segment of this beauty pageant where we meet our five finalists. But before then, I say unto you, we now have the final chance to meet with all our beautiful contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for this beautiful contestant once again. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are we are now at the final segment. What we all have been waiting for. The final five must emerge tonight. Definitely, we will have this final five in no orders after I have met with my able judges in a minute. Gentlemen, 
I must confess, this is really out of order. But somehow, some way, these five must emerge. Ladies and gentlemen, number one, Miss Abia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, number two, Miss Imo. Ladies and gentlemen, number three is Miss Cross River. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number six, Miss Delta. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the final but not the least, Miss. Rivers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final five for tonight. Definitely, like they always say, for every 12 disciples, there must be a Judas. Tonight, I believe that for every five beauty pageant, there must be a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final five. And for those of you, now you are not listed here, or probably not among our list. Please take a final bow. It has been wonderful having you around. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome to contest next year too. Ladies and gentlemen, with our final five contestants, we will have to meet them and definitely, like I said earlier, one will definitely emerge, the winner, so to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, and now a word of advice for the contestant from no one else but Miss Adora Okonkwo, Miss Nigeria 2003. Please, a round of applause. My name is Adora Okon. Miss Nigeria 2003. Well, please, may I greet Mr. President and his wife first? MD Godin Dove and his wife, panel of judges, ladies and gentlemen. Being a queen is not easy, but with God by my side, believe me, every impossibility became possible. That was why I was able to accomplish so many things within this one year. And my advice to whosoever wants this crown is that she should rely in only one girl and have a set objective of what she really wants to achieve. And more so, I pray that tonight, Miss Nigerian Beauty Contest, to produce someone who truly understands what this task is all about and it shall be by the grace of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now ladies and gentlemen, I will call on the third person, Miss Rivers. Well, Miss Rivers, you're welcome once again. Thank you very much. I have a question for you. When you wake up in the morning and you go to a standing mirror and look at yourself, what do you see? I see someone that was created when God was of strength. Someone that is beautifully endowed from the crown of our hair to the sole of our feet. And someone who was born into a noble family. Well, thank you very much, Miss Rivers. Actually, you know what you're made of. I wish you luck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like you have heard, this is really, we are really getting somewhere again, I must say. But now, I have to call on the fourth person, Miss Delta. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Miss Delta, once again. You're welcome, Miss Delta. Thank you this is your question, if you're ready for me. If you happen to win Miss Nigeria tonight, 
How do you think you can help you achieve the aim of Miss Nigerian Beauty pageant? Um, thank you very much. First and foremost, for you to think of achieving any aim in life, you have to first of all consider the aim of that particular thing. And to the best of my knowledge, the Miss Nigeria Beauty Pageant is a charitable organization aimed at giving hope to the hopeless and promoting unity in spite of our diverse culture. And going by my nature, I am set to restore hope to the hopeless, giving them a sense of belonging in the society. And because I believe in one Nigeria, I am set to make Nigeria a place where people will be able and willing to embrace one another's culture without fear or favor. Thank you very much. Wonderfully stated, I must confess. Thank you, Miss Daughter, once again. I wish you luck. Ladies and gentlemen, the last but not the least person in the house, Miss Emo. You're welcome again, Miss Emo. Thank you. I have these questions for you. Have you been to any part of the world outside Africa? Uh, thank you very much. Yes, like um, my father is, uh, is in Germany. He's the current Nigerian ambassador to Germany. My mom and younger ones are there in New York. I'm just here pursuing my career as a model. And I just believe I'm going to make it <laughs> as the next Miss Nigeria. Oh my God, Nigeria. So, Miss Moa, if I ask, which one are we really holding on to as the answer to our question? Well, thank you. Like I said earlier on, my father is a current ambassador. Hey, come on, my for this session for sale, eh? Hmm. You just shame, say me and you're with talk. You can't tell the whole world, your papa don't die, you. Hey, I just don't tell you, say, your papa don't die, you. And now he make me come from village. And they go back, make and go bury your papa. You hear me, so you man. Hey, my wife, you do like this. Hey, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the uh, slight distraction. Uh, Miss Emo, uh, sorry for the embarrassment. Miss, can you now answer your question? Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Um, um, my, my, my father is from, I'm sorry, my, my father is the current ambassador to Nigeria. Um, my father is the current in the village, and sorry. And, uh, well, yes, no. Well, Miss Imo, thanks for coming out here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the result of tonight's um, Miss Nigeria 2004, the fourth one out is Miss Abia. <laughs> Gentlemen, the third runner for tonight's beauty pageant is Miss Cross River. Mm. And the second runner up for tonight's beauty pageant is Miss Emo. Ladies and gentlemen, the first runner of tonight is Miss Rivers. And the winner is Miss Delta.
ladies and gentlemen. Finally, a winner has emerged, Miss Delta. Another round of applause for Miss Delta. <laughs> Miss Nigeria 2004. Looking like this. I hope no problem. I'm fine. It's just that I'm trying to put myself together after that beauty pageant incident. Donald, please, where is Henry? Henry? I've not seen him lately. How do you mean? Like I said, I've not seen him. It's just that I noticed he wasn't there during the beauty pageant incident. I expected him to be there at least to console and comfort me. Even you, I didn't see you. Ever since I've been in camp, I've not seen or heard from him. I tried calling him, but his phone wasn't going through. So I don't know where he is. And I don't know if you know. You mean Harry didn't tell you he was traveling? Traveling? Yeah. To where? To UK, of course. Then oh, is, is this some kind of joke or something? Why, why would he travel? He's the only man I truly love. I need him most now. Why would he travel? I mean, I love him so much. Benita, to be honest with you, I don't like you for one bit. Yes. Like you said, you loved him. You go about sleeping with everybody in town. That's a common knowledge. Hmm? Your home parents denying them again in presence of everybody. Do you know you're a fake person? Yes, you're a fake person. That should go on with his life. He said, you're not the kind of woman you want to settle down with for the rest of his life. That when he settled down, we send you the money he borrowed him. Donald, this is not true. I can't believe this is happening to me. I emptied my whole account. I, I sold my car. My parents, they disowned me. Sorry. Why do I do all this? Please, my... if you don't mind, I'm busy upstairs. So, you can leave my house. Donald, you ask me. I've said it all. Please, leave my house. Asking me, Benita, to leave your house. 
Benita, come on, don't do this in my house now, Benita, get up, Benita, get up, somebody help, Benita, don't do this now, this is my house, come on. Our daughter is now Miss Nigeria. Really? So you are now the queen? That's correct, sir. Your daughter is now the new Miss Nigeria. Why didn't you tell us this before now? We would have been there to give you more support. Really? Yes. God, Daddy, that would have been wonderful. And to think I thought it was keeping me alive. <laughs> Daddy, I was scared you might not approve of my participating in the competition. Why would I do that? When you left the last time, your mother sat me down and explained everything to me. And I come to realize it's a noble profession for a well-brought-up girl like you. <laughs> thank you very much, Daddy. I thank God. But Daddy, Tickles here did everything for me. Who is it? He is my manager and somebody I intend introducing to you as somebody. But that will be after my reign as the queen. Hmm. He is a complete gentleman. Oh, thank you very much, ma. I feel very honored to hear that. <laughs> uh, lest I forget. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank you for the money you said the last time. It was well utilized. And I pray that... Uh, God will continue to bless you. Am I on my ear? Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. But Daddy, that is small compared to what I intend doing for you. Mm -hmm. Really? I want to change the furniture in this house, get you a car, mm -hmm. and give Mommy some money to help revive her trade. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you don't have to worry about the younger one's school fees. I'll take care of it. Okay? Oh. And daddy, mm -hmm. make sure you take mommy to work. <laughs> that car. <laughs> I will, I will. You will do that, too. And uh, if I may ask, where is all this money coming from? You want to do this, you want to buy this. The prize money for winning the contest. Exactly. The prize money. Can you hear that? The prize money. And she's spending all of it on us. She's really a queen. She's <laughs> truly our daughter. Yes, she's a good daughter of mine. Yes, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I am very, very proud of you. Thank you very much, Daddy. Uh, you see, my darling, let's go right now and prepare a good reception for my daughter, the queen, <laughs> and my fine in-law. To, to be. be. <laughs> Daddy, Thank you. does that mean you've accepted him? Why not? Anybody who can do all that for you deserves you and deserves my consent. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank your parents are such wonderful people. <laughs> you can say that again, sweetheart. Thank you very much for the love, the support, and the courage you've given to me all. On the contrary, thank you for making me the happiest man in the whole world. <laughs> Fine girl, she's the 
a woman in my memory Just all of the good things life could bring All that I see I like all oh, this fine girl She's a beauty even in my dream That's something I must have to tell you All but for me Would you wanna, would you wanna, would you wanna stay with me? Oh For me, would you wanna, would you wanna, would you wanna stay with me? Oh, girl, you, you're my man, you're just so natural. You make me wanna be the sky so high and turn to stars. Most beautiful woman, queen of the moment. For my wedding, you should wear the crown. Give a smile, let nothing bring you down. I'll stand by you to think and think because I found. Loving you I found This nice girl She's just everything that life can be Exciting she walks on the sidewalk Elegantly Watch out. 